Well, I'm working on the clossing lathe again tonight. Still trying to get the variable speed drive working. My last video dealt with testing the head unit down there with a little makeshift hydraulic pump. And tonight I pulled the hydraulic line off and I pulled off the little, uh, I'm going to call it a master cylinder, off the side there because it was leaking. And I thought that's where my problem probably resided. Well, I think I found the problem. Here's the little master cylinder. Yeah, I popped it apart, and there's a square cut seal in there that is broken, and all the pieces of it. I <laughs> can't get the light quite right, can I? Anyways, all the pieces are down in there. So I think that's probably a pretty good part of the problem. Unfortunately, when I remove the line, it has a funny kind of fitting on it that I've never seen before. I broke it off. It has a um, it has a I don't know what you'd call that. A super long nipple on it that goes down. This piece goes around the line material itself, and then this piece screws down into into the line itself and uh, seals everything up. So I'm going to have to go over to the the hydraulic line shop um, the one in this area is called cauliflower and see if they can't cobble something together for me um, o-rings look like they're in pretty good shape the ones I took out of the master cylinder there but uh, I'll replace them anyways and then I gotta find there's those pieces down in there the square cut seal gonna have to find the square cut seal that might be a little difficult so I have to get online and see what I can't find anyhow that's all for now okay I'm getting ready to put back together the master cylinder for the clossing lathe we had some bad seals and there they are might have been able to reuse the uh, reuse the old o-ring um, what I was calling the square cut seal though a uh, little, little past being able to reuse so it's not really a square cut seal I forget what those things are called too lip seal something like that it has a groove on the back and a lip on each side that seals against the the piston or in this case I, well I guess it would be the piston or shaft couple new o-rings, um, the old hydraulic line, I went and had a had a new hydraulic line made at uh, Cauliflower, so I'm going to get these seals in, uh, get this hydraulic line put back on the lathe, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, the new seals have been installed in the master cylinder of the clossing lathe. Uh, the new hose has been installed going down to the slave cylinder all the way down there at the bottom so far um, no leaks it was a challenge to get it uh, bled down the push rod inside the master cylinder was actually too long and it was not allowing the piston to go back far enough to let the fluid uh, drop into the into the main cylinder uh, that took some some troubleshooting and some figuring out but uh, the wife helped me bleed the whole thing down and uh, in fact I made some new shoes for the lathe as well um, I am six foot five so everything has to be an extra couple of inches higher we'll see how this works out I only had one of the original one of the original clossing shoes so I made my own took some steel and glued some uh, really high grade uh, very solid rubber uh, to the bottoms of them seems to be working well uh, let me get on a tripod here and I'll show you the variable speed drive 
Okay, the three phase power is on. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lathe. I don't have the clutch engaged, so the top belt isn't spinning. Uh, that'll make it a little bit uh, easier on the ears. It, this thing gets a little bit loud, but uh, here we go. And that's full speed. So everything seems to be working pretty good. Draw it back down. Belt back up to the top. At the top pulley. You know what, just for kicks, I'll go ahead and turn the clutch on. And we'll do it noisy. So I'll get the covers back on it and uh, we'll try to make some test cuts and see how she does. At this point, I'm just glad to have it working well enough that uh, I can actually test the rest of the machine and see if it's something I want to improve upon or, uh, or continue to even keep in the shop. So that's all for now.